Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm looking at the Lumeri Smart Outdoor Spotlights Pro. The model number here is L-GI65B1. So I'm unboxing this right now, but let's go ahead and talk about the specs. The input voltage here is 100 to 130 volts alternating current at 60 hertz. You have six pieces with this and then the color temperature. So this is full RGB with the adjustable whites here. And then the operating temperature is negative 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius, which is negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this is IP65, so this is full waterproof here. So these being outdoor, obviously it has to, because if there's rain or anything like that, it has to be able to withstand that, and this does. And then the beam angle here is 63 degrees, and then the rated life is 15,000 hours. Now looking at some of the other specs with this, so 3000 lumen total, 36 watt total, but with this, you're actually spreading that across the six lights. So for the lumens, you're looking at 500 lumen each. These do get very, very bright. I'm gonna showcase just the different lighting effects on the app here in a little bit, but these get very bright, I can't tell you that. One of the upsides with this too is the remote. We're starting to see that with a lot of the Lumary products here where you actually get this remote. I think a lot of people have requested this feature. Although they recommend, hey, you're gonna need to connect this via Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz here, you can use the remote if you're in a pinch. So you can use it if you're connected to Wi-Fi or not, but they do recommend, hey, keep this connected to Wi-Fi. The build quality here with the material, very solid. I do like the stakes too, because the stakes are very, very solid. I've had some other ones in the past where they just like, it feels like they're gonna break or bend easily. These very heavy duty, which is great. Now, in terms of the length between the lights, this is longer in terms of like the total length because you get 65 feet here, but from the plug, the power adapter to the first light is 18 feet is what they're saying. So take that and minus the 65 and then divide that by six, you get roughly eight feet between each light. So you have 18 feet from the plug to the first light and then you have eight feet in between each of those. Now for these cables between the lights, they are a water sealed connection. Usually these are separate and you have to kind of connect them to yourself. This one came with everything connected, which I thought initially was gonna be great because it'd make it easier to set up, but I ended up going through and I didn't like how the cables were wrapped. So I just disconnected them and then connected them again, but it does have a very tight seal on it again, because you have that IP65 here. So just make sure if you do that, it is screwed very tight. So no water does get inside of that. Last couple loose ends before we get to just showcasing the lighting effects here. This does have a little power brick thing where you can click that button and it will turn this on. It will even cycle through some of the lighting effects, but it is pretty limited with that. I found I don't generally do that. I just use the app, but for me, I don't like messing with it because I'm more prone to actually just resetting the whole device, but it is there if you're in a bind. But again, you have the remote also, and with that, the big thing that I noticed is, and I actually had to reach out to the company, when you set this thing up in order to utilize the remote, because it was either letting me use the remote or the app, but not together, you actually have to get everything set up, power this down, like unplug it, plug it back in, and then it connects with the remote. You run the remote and the app, and you can use these independent of each other, and they both work, which is awesome. But again, if you're in a bind, you could actually just use the remote if you needed to. This also works with Amazon Alexa and Google and Siri. I don't typically use the voice stuff, but it is there as an option, which is great. And then inside of the box, you have all the different lights. You have the remote, and then you have the power brick and the user manual. So with all that being covered here, let's go ahead now and shift over to showcasing the different lighting effects. And I'm going to have the app on the screen as well. So I'm gonna showcase me changing everything in real time and then just walk you through all the different features that this has. All right, so I'm not gonna showcase everything in just the main portion of the app, but you have this here. This will automatically start to do the setup process. If you plug this in and it starts flashing, that means it's in setup mode. You click on that and then it'll automatically sync itself. 
Once you click on this though, this is the first page that you will come to. And then this is just the regular color temperature that you can adjust. And then you can adjust this to different colors as well. So with this, we see the brightness is at 100%. You see where I'm at on the color temperature. Now I turn this all the way over to cool. And you can do this with this just wider spectrum here because this is just more like a, a palette and then on the other one i'm going to look at it here in a second it, it's actually like slivers of these different color temperatures right here that you get to choose so if you need something where it's a little bit more distinct and you're not needing to like scroll your finger through this you do have this option as well you did showcase me just changing the brightness again these get quite bright so i've kept these for my house typically at about 50 60 percent but this is going to be great for halloween that's what i'm most excited for but now we have the color temperature here and notice that this is changing the display for the lights as well on the app so again adjusting the brightness but when we're looking at that right now this is on the bucket which means i'm doing these changes to all six lights but you can erase these and when you erase them, which is the bottom portion there, it will actually just turn that light off. Or if you, you click on this like scribbly marker line here, you get to change the individual lights. So you tailor this to whatever you want it to be, which is great. And so more customization options here. Again, you can go through and erase these if you want. So if you only want certain ones on for whatever reason, you can do that. And then if you wanna change up the colors, the brightness, whatever it may be, you get to do that as well. So now I'm just erasing all of these. At the very bottom though, we have power, we have the color temperature and just color tab that I'm currently on. After that, it's the little palette one. That's gonna be where we have the different lighting effects. We have music that I'm gonna showcase here in a little bit. And then we have schedule, but this is the scene tab right here, right? So we have flow rainbow chase rgb ai gradient and i'm going to scroll down and just showcase all of these here in a second but a ton of different options you notice that with that you have the heart meaning you're going to favorite this and then you have the three little dots and this is where you customize this to whatever you want it to be so think of these more as like a framework for just a, a scene that you would want but then you just tailor it to whatever you want it to be so it's more like again this is the general effect how do you want to make this your own rename it and then with that you've created this new scene that is uniquely your own so instead of giving you a bunch of preset ones they are leaving it up to you to use these frameworks and then create your own so then we have the gradient jump breathing and blink and again you just customize these to your liking, which is what I'm gonna look at right now. So once we have this, you have six different colors that you get to choose from. The big thing here is as you do these adjustments, you have to click preview to actually showcase what you've done. If you don't click preview, it, it's not gonna show you what you're doing in real time, right? I'm gonna add more colors to this. You could change it between the color and then just the color temperature, which is the white tab there if you wanted to do that. We have the speed and then the turn position, turn to position, right? So are we going positive or negative, which is really like, are you going clockwise or counterclockwise? What direction is the uh, this effect going in here? So different changes, you could make it so it's just two colors if you wanted to versus the six that you have the potential to do. And it gives you the same option here in terms of, do you wanna choose from these blocks? And we have like this gradient that's blocked in, or do you want this larger gradient where you get to just kind of go through here and just, swipe to whatever adjustment within that color that you want. So let's go ahead and name this. And then we do need to save this. And so now this is just the flow 2.0 here. And so again, you make your own here, which is really, really cool. So depending on, and I make a Halloween one in a little bit, but depending on what you want this for, if you spend a little bit of time, you can make some really cool effects. So this next tab is the music tab here, music rhythm. With this, I do have a song playing. And so you have rhythm, game, romantic. I will showcase all three. The only downside here, there are zero adjustments to this that you can make. So when you're looking at the scene tab, you get all these adjustments that you can make to each scene to tailor the experience to what you want it to be. Here, you do not get that. I am still hoping that they give us this option down the road because I think that would be really 
great to see because you're just stuck between these, like I said, three options. You don't get to change the color. I mean, you don't get to change the speed or the frequency or like the, it, cause it's listening through your phone with this. Like I, to me, it's like, what is it picking up on in order to click into and say like, oh, is it more trouble based or is it more uh, like just it, it's picking up on the actual base and not the trouble to give whatever the signal is. I, I don't know that. So I wish we would get more adjustments with this. Now, this is the timer here, and this is where you're going to turn this on in terms of setting this to perform an action, switch this to on, you're going to execute a scene, or you're going to close this out. So I have mine set to turn on every day of the week at 8.30 and then turn off at 6 a.m. And with this, I'm just telling it, hey, you need to turn on at this time and turn off at this time. You need to make sure that all of the days are clicked on because you can mix and match this, right? Like. Monday, I want it to be this scene, Tuesday, this scene, or this color, whatever it may be. I just have mine set to turn on for right now. But if the box isn't checked right there and it's not blue, it will not turn on. So you may have it for one day, but that's it. So keep that in mind. But I do like that it has this because that is very handy. Now, just going into kind of the back end stuff here, this is where you get to actually check the device information, the health of the device, and does it need to update for any reason? Um, so that's all of that stuff right here. Give feedback if you want to. So back in stuff here, you can remove this ultimately if you need to as well. But again, not a ton here that you would be dealing with on the day to day. But going back to just the regular portion, I'm going to showcase some more scenes at the tail end of the video. But right now I do actually want to showcase the remote working. All right, so with this, just looking at the various buttons. So you have RGB, right, red, green, blue, cool white, warm white, auto, and then you can cycle through the different modes. You can dim this and you can pause the effect or just turn off the lights. With this, the one thing I have noticed, I do like that they have this. This was one of the things I had been asking for for a while with their product, so I do like this. You have to be close to this. So where the camera was, I was trying to use it there where I was actually just showcasing the different effects a second ago, it wouldn't register because of this using like the, the I believe it'd be the infrared light, right? It has to be close enough to actually get the receiver here. So you have to be somewhat close or at least just have a good direct line to the device. Otherwise it's not going to register anything. So do keep that in mind for me, but a very nice touch here. I am glad that they added this. So in conclusion, another great product from Lumeri here. They're listening to the community, which is great. We're getting things like the remote. We're getting longer cable length between the power adapter and then the first light. I'm still waiting on some adjustments in the app, like I mentioned with the music, but I still think that we're gonna get that. It just may be a little bit longer. Very hopeful on that end, but they're doing a great job here with this product. Very, very solid, amazing build quality on these. And I just like Lumeri. I have a lot of, if you saw the initial part where I pulled up the app, I have a lot of their products in my home because of just the great quality and the different effects that you can do with this. So that's gonna be it for this one. I don't really have any negatives with this outside of maybe the remote can, like you have to understand how to utilize the remote. But if you, Again, understand how you're going to connect it, know your line of sight, it won't be frustrating. If you don't do those things, it can be frustrating. But again, just make sure you're doing what you need to do for it to work properly, and it is just a nice adjustment that they have here. Now, I haven't covered the price yet in all of this. Wanted to cover it as the last thing. $249.99 on Amazon right now. There is currently a $60 off coupon, so you can get this for about $180, $190. It is a little bit more expensive than some of their previous items that they have that are the outdoor lights, but we're looking at a remote now, longer cable. I think this is probably, in terms of the products I've used, one of their like higher build quality products. It just feels really good. These feel solid. It doesn't feel like they're going to break easily at all. Not that the other ones did. It just feels like this one, they took it up a notch, which is great. So I do think that they have earned that higher price point with this product. So I will have a link for this in the description if you want to pick it up. If you have any questions about this too, let me know in the comment section. I will make sure that I answer that for you there. If you like the video, hit the like button for me as it helps the channel out. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.